Okay, this is a review of some components that I bought on eBay from the seller Mini Duino. This is Rich Teal, the buyer. All right, so some of the items that I bought were these breadboards here. And yes, he does uh, sell them at three pieces. That's what I received when I bought it. Uh, they, they work really well. Uh, one thing to note with these is they're the uh, power header or strip is split, so if you want to use the full thing, you have to jumper it, but that's quite normal. Um, bought this uh, real-time clock, um, which works well. Also bought these uh, DC step-up power supply converter modules, and they work well as well. And lastly, I bought some of these Class D amplifier, audio amplifiers, and they worked well. So I'll go into a little video showing a setup that I did just to test them out. And then I'll come wrap it up with uh, some notes and conclusion. Okay, so here today I wanted to um, give a review of uh, some stuff that I bought for, off of eBay from a seller uh, named Mini Duino. And uh, I bought a few items from him. I bought a uh, real-time clock module. I bought a Stereo D amplifier and I bought a um, voltage uh, booster. So kind of wanted to go over everything and um, just uh, to give them a thumbs up I'll just start with that. So um, what I've got here is a Raspberry Pi 3 and um, I've got the power for the, all the circuitry here is uh, uh, connected through the USB, well, I should say for the circuitry over here, um, and that runs over to this board. Oh, the other thing I did buy is I bought these uh, uh, proto boards or breadboards from uh, Mini Duino as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, the power runs in here, and then I made a cable to go from uh, the Raspberry Pi, the audio and composite video, to break that out, and it comes over here and um, I break those out. The yellow is the video, the black is ground, red is right, and white is left. I do have a mini uh, display over here from Adafruit. It's a composite uh, display and that's working pretty well. I don't know if you can see on the video but it's kind of tearing at the bottom or down throughout a little bit but that's because the resolution is set too high so I have to go in and reconfigure it but I'm using VNC to connect and I did not want to reduce the resolution so I can actually see what I'm doing. <clears throat> but um, let me turn my voltmeter on over here. So the reason for the voltage booster is that the display requires 6 to uh, 12 volts to operate. So I set the, at first I thought the voltage booster wasn't working, but uh, after I played with it a little bit, I finally got it to, to, to work. It was just uh, having to turn the uh, pot on here, and it took quite a few turns to actually get the voltage to change. But uh, as you can see, I'm putting out a little over 9 volts here. And it is pretty stable, um, so I, I like it. Um, class The Class D amplifier works well, and the real-time clock works well as, as well. Um, a couple things I apologize. I'm not going to do a screen capture. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, show it here. So um, I ran uh, I squared C detect um, on my Raspberry Pi and you'll see that there's two addresses that come up for the real-time clock. There's 57 and 68. And uh, 50, it, according to the documentation on eBay, it says 57 is the, the real-time clock. But when I went to Adafruit said 68 and I said well I've got the 68 let me just roll with it and it works just fine. I think there's extra uh, functionality involved because there's also um, an EE prom on the uh, board as well and I'm guessing that's why there's two addresses because that's an I squared C EE prom it's the uh, uh, ATM TC 173 um, EE prom <clears throat> but um, yeah, there you go. So um, I've got my Raspberry Pi configured to actually um, use the hardware uh, real-time clock. So I just go to show that it actually is reading the time from the hardware clock. Um, 
One thing I will say, because I'm using VNC to connect to this, I couldn't take it off the, the network, so of course the time set automatically from the network. Um, but uh, you can see that it's it's getting it from the, everything from the hardware clock. It does look like it's working right, and it did get the clock tick, you know, so it's, uh, it's telling you everything seems to be working fine with that. Um, next thing I wanted to show was uh, that the uh, Class D amplifier is working fine, so let me uh, run the speaker test on here. Front, left, front, right, front, left, front, right, front, left. So you can see front, that that's working right, fine. Front, left, <coughs> my front, volume's all the way up on my Raspberry Pi. Left, front, let me right, just turn it down. Left, front, right, so halfway, I'd say that it's right, here, it's audible from about halfway all the way full left, front, so again right, full front, left, front, right, then about front, half right front, there so there you go front, but um, I give uh, mini Duino thumbs up on uh, his stuff on front, eBay it all seems to be front, working well left, so um, right, I am going to uh, Give him his review now and add a link to this video if I can on eBay. Um, and, uh, yep, that would be all. Thanks, guys. Okay, a few notes I want, did want to mention is uh, I'm using a Raspberry Pi. And uh, one of the things, if you're going to use the RTC, the real-time clock, on a Raspberry Pi, remember that the uh, GPIO pins are 3.3 um, volts. They are not compatible with 5 volts. You will ruin your Pi. So make sure you power the uh, RTC from uh, the 3.3 volt rail from the Pi, not, not 5 volts. Um, the Ada fruit display used in the demo uh, will operate on 5 volts, but the, um, the specs state 6 to 12, which is why I wanted to try this out. I, I bought it and I didn't know if it would actually work at 5 volts, but I have confirmed that yes, it does work at 5 volts. I don't know if that's uh, reliable in the long term. You may actually ruin your unit because it may be drawing too much current. I don't know. But um, just keep that in mind. And uh, to get a lot of this stuff working, um, I did go to learn.adafruit.com, found some good resources there uh, for the audio and the real-time clock. So um, just wanted to give a shout out to Adafruit. Um, some pros and cons uh, with um, Mini Duino and his stuff is, uh, uh, pros are hey, it's really low cost. Second is uh, it ships from the USA, so the delivery was really quick. I got it within a couple days of placing my order. Um, the modules, even though they that I bought, the ones I bought, uh, even though they don't state that they are uh, breadboard friendly, they are. They're all on based on point uh, one inch uh, uh, spacing, so I was able to use them with a breadboard, which was to me a, a big plus. Um, and the other thing is everything worked the first time so the first modules I grabbed uh, worked right off the bat the cons um, I've got two of them listed but it's really the same con is just minimal documentation but this is true with anything you buy on eBay pretty much um, is that there's a lot of these sellers do not provide documentation I really wish that they would have a link to a like they'd have their own site with a link with detailed documentation and examples um, on them I think it would be great and it would help out especially uh, um, people just getting into the hobby but for folks like me that have been doing this for a while it's not really that big of a deal to uh, use this stuff um, in conclusion I'd recommend if you're you're thinking about buying this stuff to, to from mini Duino I'd recommend uh, go ahead and buy it without fear that everything I've got so far uh, works well um, again, if you're a beginner and you don't know where to start, I might hesitate a little bit on buying from uh, uh, Mini Duino or anybody else on eBay just because of the documentation aspect. I would actually look at um, other sources such as Adafruit or SparkFund if, uh, if I was a newbie. Um, and the other thing is, uh, if you do buy these, um, you may need to do some research. Uh, Google is your friend. Um, just, just keep that in mind. And just a thank you. Have a great day. I hope you find this useful.